three cups of cashews. This is just whole raw cashews. Everything in my recipes, unless it otherwise stated, is raw, organic, <laughs> local if it can be. <laughs> so we'll do one, two, three cups of cashews, one cup of water, a quarter cup of lime juice, which this is lime juice, just fresh, fresh lime juice. <laughs> And then two to three garlic cloves. I have my two garlic cloves right here. These knives, by the way, are really awesome. It's actually a ceramic knife by Kiyosara. And since I've been using this knife, it has made me just think all my other knives are really dull that I used to use every single day. I'm like, oh, where's my Kiyosara knife? So anyways, if anybody wants to get a really sharp, good knife. They're a little bit fragile, but they work really good. Two to three garlic cloves, and then um, one to two jalapenos. If you like spicy cheese, some people like cheese really spicy, you can just put the seeds in and it'll be super spicy. Um, but if you just want the jalapeno flavor without a lot of spice, you just snip the seeds out you of there. Just cut it in half and take the seeds out. And if you try not to touch the seeds, it's a good thing because if you get the oil from the seeds on your skin, even after you wash your hands, it can be pretty spicy. And if you have the, you know, if you forget to wash your hands and you have the oil, you can rub your eye and it'll sting. So just <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut the seeds out. They just kind of pop right out. I kind of like to leave just a few seeds in there. I like it a little spicy. And then we'll just chop those up and stick those in. And let's see, we have one tablespoon of umeboshi plum vinegar. Now this is actually one of my little tips and tricks of really yummy food because this vinegar has so many flavors and depths and high notes and low notes to it that is it's just really good you can actually just use this in olive oil uh, in fact that was the dressing pretty much on the salad <laughs> for the wedding yesterday so um, it's made from umeboshi plums they just um, you know, make these umeboshi plums with salt, basically. So the only ingredients is the ume plum, the beefsteak beef leaf, which is just a leaf, and sea salt, and that's it. And then the plums just, you know, do their thing. They marinate and they let out their juice. So it's basically plum juice with salt, and it's just, it's vinegar, so it's alkalinizing on your system, too. So it's better for you than salt. So let's see, we're going to put one tablespoon of umeboshi in there. And it's a beautiful color too. It's like a rich purple, reddish purple. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of sea salt. Now there is a lot of difference between the different sea salts that you use. Um, Celtic sea salts, and there's a Himalayan sea salt as well, contain minerals. So you can actually get minerals and vitamins while you're using salt, which is really great. You might as well take all the little techniques that you have and merge them into your food so that you can be healthy. I always like to say, you can either pay up front for your health or you can pay later. You know, you can go to McDonald's and Jack in the Box and all those fast food restaurants and just buy the cheap food, but you're gonna have big medical expenses later in life <laughs> when you do that. If you pay for the organic food and get the local grown stuff that's really good for you, um, your body is just going to thrive. You can throw out your vitamins, you can throw out your prescription medications, and you know, you eat a leaf. A leaf of collard greens is so good for you. Greens, to get greens and the phytonutrients and the antioxidants, just to get all that yumminess into your body, it, it makes you thrive. It gives you life and vitality, and that's what your cells need to live. And so, I'm just really passionate about it. <laughs> okay, so this is one teaspoon. So we'll do one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt. Mm. 
and then we will blend. And then I always just like to, there's, when you blend, there's different blendings. You can blend so it's chunky, which is okay for cheese, but if you're making like a, a cheese cake, I would just blend and blend and blend so it's super creamy all the way through. And those little tiny things that you do, that's, that's part of the love that's put into it that makes it just that extra divine, oh, this just melts in my mouth. It's so yummy, <laughs> you know? So we're just gonna blend this. In. It will last up to a week, 10 days, I don't know. It, um, I added jalapenos. Oh, the question was, did I? Herbs, like you can add, yes. Coriander. This is kind of like a basic recipe. You can do it without jalapenos, and it could be more like a mozzarella cheese for pizza. Okay. You can add cilantro or thyme or coriander or anything like that and make an herbed cheese. So one thing that I love to do is just get to give people the basic, simple recipe and then say, you know, just play with it. You know, use the flavors that excite you and just add a little bit and, you know, see how it tastes. You can add a whole whole cumin seeds. So you get little tiny broken up parts of cumin. Part of the fun of cooking is trying to, trying to create the different depths and tones of flavors. Like if you have a little cumin seed in there, you know, you might not taste it the first five bites, but then you'll get like on the fifth bite, this yummy burst of cumin, you know, like, wow, that was really exciting. <laughs> so it kind of keeps, keeps the, the excitement happening, happening in your palate. And then probably about like, I don't know, halfway through or so, just take off the jalapenos and scrape the sides and just get it down there. There are a few tools that I really suggest to use in the kitchen. One would be a Vitamix and the food processor. Those are two really great ones. And we're just gonna blend it a little bit longer. <laughs> And then this is your cheese. I'm just gonna put it right up here. I got a spoon up here, but you can make it thicker. And in fact, you can also add, I'll show you in the cheesecake how to do the agar agar seaweed. Um, you can actually make a cheese that's sliceable like a regular block of cheese. Um, and then also if you set this in the fridge for a little while, it will, um, it will thicken up and it's really like good. And this is one of our staples, one of our, one of our foods. We love to eat it with a collard leaf. We'll, spread the, we'll put the collard leaf down as like a tortilla. So you eat the collard leaf instead of a tortilla. And then spread the jalapeno cashew cheese on there. Made a little quinoa and then some salsa, avocado, sprouts, something like that. And that's your burrito. And just that one act of changing your tortilla into a collard leaf gives you so many phytonutrients. It's incredible. I was watching this, this video done by Dr. Michael Greger, and he held up a bottle of folic acid, <laughs> and he held up, and this was like the, I don't know exactly, but it was like 550 milligrams of folic acid, and then he holds up the, the collard leaf, and this is like, you know, 1,500,000 grams of folic acid, and he just throws the, <laughs> the vitamins behind him. He's like, this is your real food. This is where you're getting the vitamins. And, you know, Mama Earth Cafe, that is the, the name of um, my catering service. Not necessarily because I'm Mama Earth, because Mama Earth Cafe is so abundant, and she just wants you to thrive, and, and she wants to feed you really good food. And her, you know, it's like when you eat foods from the earth, your body knows how to process it and turn it into exactly what it needs in order to, to grow and, and be healthy. And um, so, yeah, I often say, especially when I'm doing the raw foods, I often say God is my co-chef <laughs> because I feel like I don't really do much. I'm taking this beautiful, yummy, raw, healthy food that you start with. If you start with a beautiful, yummy, healthy, perfect food, you don't really have to do much. It's just good as it is, and it's healthy as it is. And it's, it's just such a, such a beautiful um, feeling as a mom and as a chef to just know that what I serve people is full of health and vitality. It's not just good for your taste buds, it's good for your body, it's good for your soul, it's good for the earth, it's sustainable, it's all those things. So anyway, it just warms my heart and I'm super passionate about it.